We're here in Hangzhou at Alibaba's biggest event of the year, the Computing Conference, which began less than two weeks after co-founder Jack Ma announced his plans to retire. But Ma isn't quite done with Alibaba yet. He took to the stage on day one of the conference to urge Chinese entrepreneurs to continue innovating, especially in the manufacturing industry. That's an area Alibaba has pledged to focus on reforming. It's an urgent mission because Chinese manufacturers are facing the pressure of a mounting U.S.-China trade war. This year's conference saw speeches from the mayor of Hangzhou and the governor of Zhejiang, who are using Alibaba technology to reshape the ways their governments function. For example, the company is expanding their City Brain project in Hangzhou, helping the nearly 10 million person city set up a massive interconnected system that can monitor nearly every vehicle on the road. It controls the city's traffic signals and automatically detects accidents. Alibaba is also moving into courtrooms with new technology that can analyze legal cases. So while Alibaba is primarily here to promote their new products, we can look to these same brands for a glimpse of the ways that new Chinese tech will influence society. This conference is huge, so Technode reporters split up to go see what new tech developments we could find. Hi, my name is Suzanne. We're at the Tainiao demo station. It's um, Alibaba's logistics arm. And this is a demonstration of the warehouse. Sainiao is using AI technologies to make warehouse operations more efficient. With this technology, goods can be packaged within three minutes. Workers in traditional warehouses would walk 50,000 steps, and now that's reduced to only 2,000. Hi, I'm Chris. We're looking at service robots, one of which is used in a hotel to deliver food. The other is used in supermarkets and hospitals to deliver medicine and beverages. Uh, these are really cool because they help lessen the workload for employees of these companies. We're standing outside a mini version of one of Alibaba's new Huma supermarkets, and yesterday I went shopping to test it out. These stores are ground zero as Alibaba rolls out its new retail strategy. This strategy is the brainchild of Daniel Zhang. He's the man who's going to take over whenever Jack Ma decides to ultimately retire. He hopes that stores like Homa Market, or as they're calling it in English, Fresh Hippo, will become a model for online to offline retail. Now, in terms of the tech, my shopping experience here was actually pretty average. They're demoing some robots that can ostensibly deliver food, but when I went to check out, we experienced a lot of delays. There were network errors, but regardless, in the coming years, you'll start to see a lot more stores like this rolling out in cities across China. And then there's Bingo Box, the Amazon Go-like unmanned store. This is an automatic self-checkout box. You just put the product in and then the price comes out right next to here. The startup received 80 million US dollars in Series B funding at the start of this year. We're here with Benma cars, which are internet cars. They're pretty similar to almost any smart GPS, plus or minus a few tricks, like the karaoke program. But they hope to become China's standard in-car operating system. Alibaba is pushing forward with hundreds of new projects here in China and internationally, some with very different objectives, from wildlife conservation in Kenya to searching for oil in the United Arab Emirates. Alibaba wanted attendees this week to feel the force of their computing power and the speed with which they're partnering with other companies. What resulted was a tech-themed circus of sorts. They had sports. AI-aided basketball. Biomonitored foot races. A predictive soccer goalie. They had culture, language translation, a game of Go, and even the fine arts. And of course, they had robots, land robots, sea robots, lots and lots. <laughs> of robots. As activities draw to a close, 
Alibaba will sweep away the remnants of this year's investor conference, but there will be no getting rid of Alibaba tech. As the sun sets over Yunchi Town, Hangzhou, one word comes to mind. Omnipresence.